Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. If you're a fan of the Chevrolet Corvette, you know there's a big gap in both performance and price between a standard Stingray and the high-strung Z06. Well, you probably also know that that spot has now been filled by this Grand Sport. But while the original 1960s era Grand Sport was a pure track car, the 2017 version will spend most of its life on the street. So let's find out which side of the pavement pendulum this Grand Sport swings towards the most. Even more to the point, does this 2017 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport really offer buyers something new or is it just the return of something old? Of course, we're referring to those aborted homologation vets of the 60s, but there was also the limited released C4 Grand Sports that we all remember, as well as a few others over the years. Of course, we could just as much be talking about the return of the Z06, as this Grand Sport is more in line with Z06 ethos than the elevated current Gen Z06. As for all of its handling potential, this VET is a very civilized car. Yes, that's largely due to magnetic ride control that has vastly different manners depending on setting. But no matter the mode, the Grand Sport is not high strung at all or as beastly feeling as the current Z06. Of course, that's because there's something missing here. The Z06's supercharged LT4. Rather, the GS sticks with the base Stingray's LT1 6.2 liter V8, though it does get the Z51's dry sump oiling system and performance exhaust. So the numbers are healthy, 460 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Both the 7-speed manual and 8-speed automatic are available. And it feels plenty powerful. Even when cruising around in eco mode, you feel like you have to restrain it. You won't really miss what you're missing other than for Z06 bragging rights or stoplight hijinks. Still, at our test track, even though we struggled for traction, the Grand Sport is still capable of shaving a tenth off the Stingray 0 to 60 time to 3.9 seconds, completing the quarter mile in 12.3 seconds at 116 miles per hour. This was our first track time with Stingray's 8-speed automatic, and it performed quite well. Shifts were both firm and quick, but not so much that we prefer clicking its paddle shifters over working a clutch and manual shifter. So while it may not have felt like a huge step up from the Stingray here on this track, our next venue revealed just how different it is. There are not too many points here at Summit Point Motorsports Park's Shenandoah Circuit where you can hold this thing wide open, but when you do, it sounds amazingly vicious, especially if you're in track mode with all the baffles wide open. And while you'll have to lift when you reach one of its many corners, there's so much grip here, you won't have to let off nearly as much as you think. That's thanks mostly to the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s that come with the same Z07 package available on the Z06, which also adds additional downforce and the like. But by far the best upgrade is the carbon ceramic matrix brakes, which are truly spectacular, offering serious late braking with no signs of them wanting you to stop doing it. Steering has great weight and a tight radius leads to immediate results. Now the exterior looks almost identical to the Z06, which is to say tough as nails. Though we'd prefer a less flashy color than this red and white combo, perhaps more along the lines of the traditional blue. The available Heritage package features signature Grand Sport hash marks that are echoed both outside and in. Nothing else is different inside, which means everything we like about the new Stingray is still here. Government fuel economy ratings with an automatic are 15 city, 26 highway, and 19 combined. But we averaged only 17.9 miles per gallon on premium. 
The energy impact score is just slightly below average at 17.3 barrels of yearly oil use, along with 7.9 tons of CO2 emissions. So whether we ever get that mid-engine Corvette that is once again in the rumor mill, we've got no complaints, as this Stingray's impressive chassis has plenty of life left in it, and certainly no equal when it comes to price. Though starting just $10,000 over a base Stingray at $66,445, you'd be nuts not to add the Z07 performance package, which tacks on another $7,000. Now you're only $6,000 cheaper than a Z06, but that's six grand you could spend on track days, just saying. So you could think of the 2017 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport as a lesser Z06, or you could think of it as more in the spirit of the original Z06, prioritizing handling and braking performance above all else. That's both something new and old. Indeed, in a world overpopulated with special Corvettes, this one deserves its own country. Let's call it Grand Sportistan and leave it at that. Fast.